for a unicorn toy. It's not a unicorn, it's a tunicorn. Two horns. So it's a goat? That you can collect and trade with your friends. <laughs> and it's not a goat, it's a tunicorn whose two magical horns can only be used to make things special and sweet and represent everything good and nice in the world. Hey, where did this chair get pointy? <laughs> oh, dude, this is bad. To teach you a lesson? That material possessions have no value to a woo-foo knight. Where does it say that? Right there. <laughs> that which you desire may not be that which you require. I don't see any... <gasps> and so, you will travel to the Valley of the Tunicorn, petition their leader, Rainbow Mane, to use a magical power of sunshine and happiness to fix your toy for free. You're only doing this so you don't have to pay for another toy. And Yang will go with you. <laughs> for free. Oh my gosh, it's the Valley of the Tunicorns! <laughs> Actually, it's over there. We're here! I can't wait for our warm and friendly Tunicorn greeting. Hello there. Now, uh, please leave before we break your heads in. Wow, they are warm and friendly. But we're on a quest to see Rainbow Mane so she can use her magical powers to fix my Tunicorn toy. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. And now it's garbage. <gasps> hey! Nobody breaks my sister's toy except Master Yo's butt! Hey, oh, ah! <laughs> Here, the Valley of the Tunicorns was taken over. By who? Me, little girl. Altimus! <laughs> Guards, take out the trash. But trash day is Tuesday. Altimus is using a metaphor. Just throw him in a truck and dump him down a hill or something. Go to the Valley of the Tunicorns. Find Rainbow Mane. You got any other bright ideas? Yang, look! Rainbow Mane! Magical princess of all tunicorns! Bada bingo, that's me. All sprinkles and light. Actually, I'm sprinkles. That's light over there. So. Oh, dude, this is seriously messed up. What happened to your horns? You don't know. You ain't heard? <laughs> <laughs> we were minding our own business. Using our special brand of innocent magic to, uh, bring joy and happiness to the world. Goodbye, pretty dolly. And then, ultimately, 
staged one of them hostile takeover things. He's snipping off a magical horn. Stay! And melting them down to make himself a larger set of big magical antlers. Which he's going to use to, like, rule the world or impress chicks. I don't know, it's something like that. I thought the magic in your horns can only be used for sweetness and sparkles and stuff like that. Actually, my friend, that is sweetness. That over there is sparkles. I'm letting a doily. This remains seriously messed up. And you're right. You can't use our magic for evil. But you think Ultimus knows that? Forget, Forget about, about it. it! And maybe we can use that. Master Yo said... That which you desire may not be that which you require. Ow! That felt like Yang's video game. Ah! We have to get you back into the factory and return the Valley of the Tunicorns to the majestic glory it once was. <laughs> Fantastical. <laughs> it's almost done. If only... Ultimus! ...had two more ginormous horns. Ultimus! ...would finally have horns big enough to take over the world! Or impress chicks. <laughs> That's ah! not what I was going for. Hey, boss, come look at this. Oh, woe is me. My two magical horns are so ginormous, so ridiculously filled with power, I can barely stand. What is a goat to do? Won't be needing these anymore. <laughs> Those are some beautiful ginormous horns. Break them off and melt them down, no matter how difficult it is. Was easy. Attack! Huh? Sprinkles, fly! Free our pretty pony sisters! That's all we had to do? We'll take the guards! Which leaves Ultimus to me! Mm. Heart of pain! Okay, Moose, let's do this. <sighs> Wow, you're being beaten by a girl. The only way you could beat me right now is if you had two ginormous, redonkulously huge magical horns. You're right. Altimus surrenders. <clears throat> uh -huh. Oh, yeah! As soon as Altimus has few horns, he'll be able to do anything! you like that? Somebody stop him! No! Don't! Give him what he wants! He doesn't understand how the magic works! <laughs> what the? A dress? A pretty dress? Ah, oh, that is totally sweet. Yeah, and our horns are back. Ah! It burns! What is this girl stuff? Ultimus is trying to be violent! Yeah, well, just because you want something doesn't mean you're supposed to have it. Ultimus will destroy you, tear you apart, and... Frolic through the fields with you and make everything the way it was. Would you mind using your tunicorn magic to make everything better? And get this redonkulous dress off me? Ultimus would love to. He's all happiness and joy now. Actually, that's happiness. That over there. Shut up! up. <laughs> There's only one thing I don't understand. Ultimus was going to put the big horns on anyway, whether we showed up or not. Yeah, but you guys had the plan. You built the thing. You were all excited. With tunicorns, we can't say no to kids. We owe you some sort of debt. If there's anything me or my girls could ever do. Oh, no. We might have come here for something we wanted. Ultimus loves everyone. Still messed up. But we got something we needed instead. Oh, right. Because you wanted to make it seem like you learned your lesson. Okay. But if you could find it in your heart to fix my sister's stupid goat doll, I'd be very grateful. It's not a goat. Done. And may I point out, it is also done. Great! Now can we go? What is this? I'm guessing that was Sparkles. Hey, 
My doll's fixed. It's a total collectible now. And best of all, I learned a valuable lesson. I'm never going to be that crazy about a toy again. So, how'd it go? Ah! Hey, this chair's pointy again. Thank <laughs> you.